This is called Hands, another image from a country folk. And in my opinion, that's Bible he's holding. Right. And I've, you will find that country folk are uh, close, close to, to God. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 this painting is quite popular actually with people. Um, but I did a whole steer, series of hand studies um, and this was part of that. Okay. And I will continue to do series on hand studies. Now, when you say, when you say like you have, um, you know, it's popular, what does that mean? Like you, you show them at different locations. Can you share with us what, how that works? I didn't understand, Bill, what? You said that, that this is very popular. And oh, I mean, it, it, it's well received with people it shows. They, they love this image. Um, and and they are quite drawn to my hand studies. I feel that hands have a lot to say about people. And so I've always painted hand studies um, because we can learn a lot from looking at each other's hands. How so? How's that? What, what can you learn? Oh, you can just tell a lot. If you study someone's hands, you can tell how hard they've worked, you can see sensitivity in there. I see a lot in people's hands. I just do. <laughs> okay, so so let, 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 if, you, if you could, could you give us an insight into these hands here? I feel like he's worked hard. Mm -hmm. He's probably on a farm. Um, he is close to God, and he's just showing... It just happened to be a moment in his life where he was clutching his his Bible and walking probably on his way to church. Right, right, most likely. He has a nice little, nice little, uh, his cufflinks there, they're, it looks like they're nicely. Mm -hmm. Anyway, like, where is this, these shows you go to? Oh, I used to travel all over the country. Now at my age, I pretty much stay in the Southeast. Uh -huh. But so I do big fine art jury shows, um, focusing a lot on North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. There aren't that many really good shows in South Carolina. So it's mostly Georgia, Atlanta, Raleigh. Charlotte, uh, Virginia. I do go to. I'm going to be in Virginia for a big show in Williamsburg this year. Um, Asheville, North Carolina. Um, so, right now at my age, it's just physically too hard to do Michigan and Connecticut and some of those. Well, now you you were telling me that that in the old days, whenever they were, you, you were doing a lot of traveling. Could you give us a little insight into that? I definitely was. Um, back then, artists, the, the, there weren't as many shows, and the artists would all pack up early February or late January. We'd all be heading south to Florida, and I still do some Florida shows. But you'd be there for three months, basically. And one show a week, exception of one week, when all of us would head to the Keys to this campground we liked to hang out. But um, I forgot the question. Um, well, no, you were just telling us about memory lane, about how it used to be. Oh, goodness. Uh, there weren't that many shows. The market's been flooded now with shows. But back then, you might be in Florida at a major show one week, and then two months later be in Mystic, Connecticut for another major show, oh, okay. and see the same collectors that were serious about going to these shows because they were far, they weren't that many. Oh. And they were heavily juried back then. So you didn't have 
a lot of uh, what you see now. Uh, I don't want to be critical, but painters who really are not uh, shouldn't be there. And let's 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 talk about. It. 